Hey guys, it's Sierra, and today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different that I have not seen around YouTube, but it is me as a teenager talking to other people about moving because I have pretty good experience about moving because I've moved all over the country, and where I like better, the west or the east, so let's find out. So where I like better, the east or the west, I personally like the west better. I have lived more of the life that I can remember out in the west, and the west from where I have been has no humidity it um, has amazing skiing because my family has a big old skiing family and we do it every single year and um, overall I would have to say I'm sure that people are really really nice out here I've had great experiences living out here in Pennsylvania already even though I haven't been here that long but my overall favorite is the west and living out where you can see the big high mountains and the really pretty views and yes out in the east they have amazing magnificent views as well it's just the difference between scenery if you like mountains or if you like um, valleys or out in the west where I've lived out in Colorado it's a dry desert area where I lived but in Montana when we lived in Montana it was green and lush and we went for hikes a lot so it really just depends on where you like to be more, in the desert, or in the green, or wherever you want to be. But overall, I'd have to say I like the west better than the east. So the positive sides I have to say for the east is that everything I have found is closer together. Um, there's really nice climbing trees. You are closer to water. You're closer to people, which could be a nice thing and also can be a down. Um, downplay for how well I like it out here because I personally am more of a country person and don't like to be around people um, unless I absolutely need to and that sounds really really bad but I, um, I wouldn't really like to live in the city and if you do and you absolutely love it well great um, that's just not my personality I have to say and um, I like a couple acres instead of being right where you can see your neighbors living room and see what they're watching on TV <laughs> but that's my whole take on the East the East is a very beautiful place don't get me wrong and it's very green and there's so many flowers out here and you can have a garden a little bit easier than you can out where I lived in Colorado but overall for me the West just kind of is a better place for me and since I am allergic to mold and the East is more wet it has more mold and so I just get sick sometimes from being out here because of the mold and the west depending on where you're at it could be really really wet like Texas right now has a whole lot of rain so usually whenever I think of Texas I think of really dry place but it's really wet right now so I guess it just totally depends on what kind of year or what kind of season you're in but overall I like the west better so the next thing I'm going to talk about is why we move so much. My family and I have moved, well I have personally moved eight times. This is my eighth time. My parents have moved ten times and my brothers have moved nine times. And why do we move so much? Well because my dad gets bored with his job and so we move around going from place to place finding a job. And you can almost say that we're like an army family, military family, but um, we're not. My dad works for Walmart but he um, yeah we just he's had multiple multiple jobs and so we've just moved around so much and so next I'm gonna talk about how you make friends how to get involved and like why why should you move so much I get asked this question so much but how do you make friends like you're moving to a whole different area might not even be in the same state. How do you make friends? Well, I have very easy answers to those questions, but how I make friends, well, my family, since we are a Christian family and we do go to church, um, most of my friends come from my youth group and I'm a homeschooler, so I, it's not like I go to public school. I stay home and I do my school at my home, so therefore I'm called a homeschooler. And there are a lot more homeschoolers out in the East that I have seen more than the West. But I know that there are public schoolers and homeschoolers out in the West, uh, obviously, and I have some great friends out in the West who are public schooled. I'm nothing against public school. That's just how my parents have raised us. All three of us kids have been homeschooled throughout our whole entire lives, and I'm the only one left in my family who's homeschooling. So both of my other siblings have grown up and have left 
the net, nest of homeschooling, and so I'm the only one left. But I do know other families out in the West who do homeschool, and it is getting to be a pretty popular thing for many states, but I mean, yeah, if you do public school, then I'm, I have nothing against that. It's just, we just haven't chosen to do, the, to do that route, and um, I, I almost think it would be easier to make friends if you're in the public school system, because then you're in that grade, you're with your kids of their own age, you can make friends, you're going to be with them every single day, except on weekends or whenever you guys have field trips, even then you'd still be with them. But um, I, I don't know public school that well, so maybe it's not that easy. I'm just saying from what my, I've experienced in my life. But yeah, most of my friends have come from youth group or if I do um, like co-ops with uh, homeschooling, you can get into really, really nice friendships with all sorts of people. And just be friendly, be yourself. Don't try and make yourself look like somebody you're not because then over time your friends are gonna notice that you're not who they thought you were gonna be. So my advice is always be yourself and just I mean, think about it. You can be so nice and you can have fun, or you can think of moving as a terrifying, scary, um, just freaky thing. But think about it, you can make so many friends. I have so many friends across the country that I am still in really good touch with. And so, thankfully with technology today, we can stay in touch, we can Skype, we can FaceTime, we can do Facebook or uh, Instagram or Snapchat, whatever social media you have, you can still stay in touch with your friends and just be a crazy amount apart. Because out in Colorado, where I'm from, um, it's two hours difference. So right now I'm in the afternoon and they're probably still in the morning. It's about two o'clock here, I think. I'm not totally sure. So it's just about noon there. So you have a huge time difference, but you can still be great friends even if there is a time difference. The most dreaded part about moving is having to pack. Packing is probably my least favorite thing in the whole entire world. But packing is a necessary thing if you want to move. <clears throat> and so you just kind of have to buckle through it. And that is a really good opportunity to actually go through the stuff that you may not want. And you can go through anything because you're going to be packing your whole entire room. And you can pick anything that you want to get rid of or anything you want to keep, make sure you definitely label your boxes and just don't say like Amanda's room or Sierra's room because that, yes that is very um, good because then everybody knows where your boxes are supposed to go thankfully but also label in what they are like what you put in them because if you don't then I find it's a very huge adventure because you're like okay I think I have this box that um, this is something I need it has you know, sheets, blankets, um, chargers, uh, whatever, and you open it and it's a bin of stuffed animals. Well that was helpful. So make sure you definitely label your stuff that's in the box because you never know if that's going to come in handy or not. Hopefully it will. But I mean, moving it, it you can make it however you want to be. Uh, hmm. Sorry, I cannot talk today. You can make the experience however you want it to be like. You can you have it be an amazing experience or you can have it be the worst experience of your life. It just totally depends on your attitude towards it. So whenever my family and I have moved, we've always moved farther than like just a couple of hours. Some, sometimes it's only been a couple of hours for the very few moves that we've done, but most of the time we've moved across the country. Like we went from Pennsylvania to Montana or from Indiana to Colorado so it just you just have to be prepared for whatever your family is gonna be doing not like you really have a say in it because I mean wherever your family goes you kind of have to go along with it but yes you're gonna be leaving some really amazing friends but don't worry like I said you can always stay in touch one of my favorite tips for people who are moving and they don't want to leave their house because maybe you've lived in that house for a long time the longest I've ever lived anywhere was three and a half years so I really don't have a forever house or home that I have been in for a long time but three and a half years is the longest I've ever lived anywhere and I mean that's not very long at all so if you've lived in the same house for let's just say 16 years and your family's getting ready to move and you're like oh this is my house I've lived here since I was born I'm 16 like what am I supposed to do 
don't worry, it's just a house. I mean, I'm probably not that sympathetic with people because I have moved so much, it's just kind of like, well, it's just a house. Remember, it's not your forever home. You're not going to be like there forever. You're going to have to move out whenever you go to college or if you're getting married. Hopefully you move out if you're going to get married. That would be kind of awkward. Yeah. But if you stay home for college, hey, that saves you money. But, I mean, it's just a house. And you'll maybe find a really nice house that you really like. Maybe better than the old one that you have. Who knows? I mean... I've been in so many different houses and they're all great houses. It just depends on what your outlook is going to be. And the whole thing with moving is the outlook and the perspective that you have in it. So if you're going into a move being, I hate this, I just, no, I don't want to do it. Then you're going to have the worst experience ever. But if you're like, yes, a new adventure, like, bam, we can go do stuff that we've never done before. That's a great outlook. I mean, if you want to be totally bummed and everything about the move, then that's your own problem. But I would definitely suggest being happy about it because, I mean, why not? Who knows? You might make some really good friends that you're going to have for the rest of your life. So let's move on to why I think moving is important. And if you don't, well, that's totally fine. I mean, if you don't move, there's nothing against that. You have friends that you've known for the rest of your life there and that's amazing but if you do move a lot then you'll kind of get along with this part because why moving has helped my life and who I've become today so let's get into that part so as a overall person and just being a teenager it is very hard to move around and leave your friends but the four points I have are one it has affected me that I am able to make friends faster because you just kind of have to if you want to have friends and have fun and I mean it's just very helpful if you can make friends a lot faster than if you're just gonna be very um, not nice to people then it's gonna be harder to make friends. Point number two that I have is that I mean I'm just so flexible it doesn't matter where I move I can make friends because if you use the same way of making friends all the time then it's gonna get ingrained into your brain where you can just make friends really quickly. The third point I have is that it has helped my relationship with my family very much because you're going to be moving across the country, you're going to be doing all sorts of stuff, and you're just going to be needing your family for a lot of those things because your family is your backbone. You're, I mean, you just have to get along with your family no matter who they are and no matter how well you know them. I mean, moving is going to help you get to know them better and being able to help them. And the fourth point I have is that just have an overall positive outlook. It's just going to help a whole lot. And you're going to be able to be a happier person because you have a positive outlook. And don't forget that no matter where you are, thankfully with technology today, you can always stay in touch with your friends. And maybe if, the, if you know the people who buy your house, maybe you can keep in touch. Who knows? But that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click that subscribe button. And don't forget to like this video and so I'll see you next week.